Welcome to this year's SCTE Cable Tech Expo. I'm Andrew Ripp, Senior Vice President, Immersion Technologies at Charter Communications. 2020 has been a year of monumental change, and people are relying on their network more than ever. In the past year, we have found new ways of working, collaborating, learning, and connecting to our families, friends, and colleagues. The demand for our networks are at an all-time high, and our industry is positioned to deliver on these trends. So this year, we're going to start the expo with some exciting technical firsts and showcase cable's high bandwidth and low latency network. But before the big reveal, let's get up to speed on what our industry has done in this pivotal year. So from Denver, Colorado to Stanford, Connecticut, here's Tom Adams, EVP of Field Operations at Charter, and this year's SCTE ISBE Chairman of the Board. Well, thanks, Andrew, and hello from the East Coast. 2020 has been an unprecedented year for sure, and the cable industry has and will continue to be committed to ensuring that Americans remain connected. Nearly 75 million homes and businesses across the country, and hundreds of millions more globally, rely on cable ISPs to deliver their connectivity needs. These connections are more important than ever, and we are intensely focused on providing superior connectivity performance via our broadband infrastructure. The cable industry's workforce of frontline technicians, care reps, and engineers are working around the clock to maintain high quality and robust services. Our networks have performed well to support the consumer surge in online activity as Americans move to work from home, online learning, and telehealth platforms our networks have been well prepared. During the early weeks of the pandemic, national peak downstream traffic grew upwards of 20%, and upstream surged 35%, with providers' backbone networks showing little signs of congestion. Wi-Fi data traffic and calling also increased over our managed Wi-Fi networks. The monitoring tools we have in place have allowed our engineers and technicians to manage performance around the clock and ensure we maintain robust service. While COVID has dominated our thoughts, the cable industry has continued to innovate and invest in our technology capabilities. Over 80% of U.S. homes now have access to cable's gigabit speeds. We've launched new advanced Wi-Fi platforms, including, in progress, Wi-Fi 6 capability. We continue to innovate on advanced security and privacy feature sets. Just as you are all about to experience the largest cable and technology show in the Americas as a fully virtual experience, our industry workforce has continued to expand their knowledge base via online SCTE courses, certifications, and online events. Our networks are highly advanced today, but just wait to see what's next. Let's hear more about what's ahead from Charter CTO, Stephanie Mitchko Beal. Stephanie? Thanks, Tom. After I spent a few years in advertising technology, I came back to the cable industry in 2019. I'm still absolutely amazed at the power of our networks today and the promise they hold for tomorrow. The future of connectivity will continue to change the way we live, work, learn, and play. This fully realized connected network will provide a seamless experience across all of our wireline and wireless platforms. Recognizing the shift, the cable industry came together and announced the 10G platform in January of 2019. Cable Labs released the DOCSIS 4.0 specifications in the spring of 2020. Our current DOCSIS 3.1 network already provides gigabit capability, and 10G will significantly expand on this feature set. The beauty of all of this is that we can roll out 10G by leveraging our existing infrastructure and investment. So what exactly is 10G? 
The 10G platform is a portfolio of technologies that will provide multi-gig services downstream and upstream and deliver speeds 10 times faster than today's cable networks and 100 times faster than what many consumers currently experience. 10G will offer lower latencies, enhance reliability and security. It will also complement other access technologies like wireless that will enable seamless experiences. The 10G platform will enable a myriad of new immersive digital experiences and technologies. These capabilities will pave the way for new and innovative products and services that we haven't even imagined yet. So all of these enhanced capabilities beg the question, what can be done with this multi-gig network? Andrew, what do you think? Thanks, Stephanie. 10G certainly makes for an exciting future for the cable industry. One of the most fun parts of my job is envisioning how our network can enable and deliver the future living room or what some entrepreneur is cooking up in their garage somewhere. And the cable broadband network is the perfect sandbox for innovating these network-powered experiences. So earlier this year, we partnered with multiple cross-industry companies to see how we could deliver a glimpse into the future living room and the workplace. Virtually every sci-fi movie created over the last 40 years has envisioned a holographic future, from the holographic message in a bottle to visual computing. But realizing this vision requires the capability to capture a light field and transmit it over a network. So you might be asking yourselves, what is a light field? Well, we see the world because of light. Light rays reflecting off objects in front of you follow a path from the source of your light into your eyes, causing you to experience an image of the world. What's the catch? Capturing a true light field requires an array of hundreds of cameras recording information at terabits per second. Once this light field payload is created, there are hundreds of millions of pixel data that have to be rendered in a 3D volume. Only then is it possible to create the scene in a wide array of perspectives. User can see around objects, realize shadows, just like the real world. This is the definition of true immersive. And of course, without a superior network with the latest compute, this wouldn't be possible. You can think of the network as one really, really long HDMI cable, of course, figuratively. Well, I think with delivery over a 10G network, that future is just around the corner. So before we run the demos, let's look at how it all came together. Five key technology elements were developed by this team to power the demos. First, light field scene capture. On location in Los Angeles, our partner Visby conducted one of the first commercial light field shoots. Using an array of 100 cameras sampling at 250 gigabits per second, they produced 8,000 minutes of raw video footage. Second, edge compute. We're hosting the content in the compute cluster sitting at the cable edge. 50 gigabits per second compressed to run over a multi-gigabit network. Third, immersive cloud application. This is developed software to manage a two-way, low-latency connection and deliver holographic data downstream that alters with gesture input from the user sent upstream. Fourth, cable network and in-home. This demo is running over a 10G-capable network, leveraging systems from our partners at Comscope, delivering a 2 gigabit per second symmetrical capacity into the demo home with single-digit millisecond latency. An in-home is via a Wi-Fi 6E connection multi-gigabit into the home and throughout the home. And lastly, the fun part, holographic display. What you'll see is the latest scale, high-resolution immersive display from Looking Glass Factory, delivering 33 million pixels, providing a 3D video experience for everyone in the room without ever needing to wear a headset. The Looking Glass works by providing 45 discrete views of a three-dimensional virtual scene and presents these images over a 50-degree viewing cone. This produces an interactive hologram into the world, allowing true depth and parallax for multiple users at different perspectives. And we have filmed this live 3D experience for you to view today in a 2D stream. This is the first time a hologram has been streamed over a 10G network. All right, so the moment we have been waiting for, let's get into demo number one. If we put together a high bandwidth, low latency cable network with the latest compute, how would that transform how we work and develop the next generation of products?
Wow, what a glimpse into the future workplace. Kudos to the film crew capturing the experience. It's not easy capturing a 3D hologram in 2D. On to demo number two. So, as the industry delivers 10G technology and high end compute into the home, what sort of lean forward interactive experience can this enable? Hello and welcome to your virtual interactive yoga class. Let's set up for Warrior Two by widening our stance on the mat, lifting our arms up to the side, and make sure that our wrists are in line with our ankles. From here, you're gonna to wanna to bring your back foot forward as well as your front foot. Turn your gaze so that you're staring off the tip of your fingertips. Bend your knee into Warrior Two. Bring your back arm, swing it down and up, and bring your back heel up. From here, use some momentum to bring your knee to your chest. You can grab your knee and bring it out to the side. And if you can, grab the side of the back of your foot. And extend. and you can bring it back down. You did a great job. Incredible. Lots of promise for new network enabled products and services. The cable future is very real and achievable. Where do we go from here? What can we do with a 10G network? Well, today we saw a glimpse of how a network this powerful can enhance how we work and live. We're partnering throughout the industry, including those who've helped create the demos today, to standardize on immersive media and accelerate getting these experiences into everyone's living room. This is the power of our collaborative industry, and we welcome others to get involved. So in closing, to everyone that pushed hard to make this production a success, thank you. And to all the millions of cable employees and partners, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the show. We're gonna try and increase the bandwidth to the maximum capable. Make sure that all our network interfaces can support that. So what we're drawing here is the storyboarding for the demo to future of the living room. So the idea behind this is they're working out at home, they're doing yoga classes, so interacting with this holographic view of a virtual yoga class will give them a better understanding into the poses themselves. They'll be able to interact with it, rotate it. We are shooting a yoga sequence. We have an instructor, and that person is going to become a hologram that lives in the looking glass display. So this is kind of like what we've all seen in sci-fi, Star Trek, Star Wars, right? The hollow deck. And that's really the potential here. So we've got 100 cameras, all wired together and synchronized. They're going to be capturing all the light coming off the scene simultaneously. And then that gets sort of compressed back down into a single hologram. Got it? We're absolutely going to need a very powerful network for holograms. When you think of 100 different cameras shooting 4K, feeding into one system, that is a ton of data. Not only are we using a ton of network bandwidth to display these images on 8K on the looking glass, but we're also taking a user's gestures, moving them back up the network, and then reflecting it on the screen in real time. We can monitor to see what gesture is being recognized and what stream is being sent out. This project, it has enabled us to showcase the present and the future of the network. It has allowed us to demonstrate how Spectrum leads the thought as well as the technology development. We're gonna be able to really take people to totally new places.